Welcome to Nantech Blog. Today's update covers teachers who will be serving in the national and local elections this coming 2021. Stay tuned and be updated of the proposed increase in the honoraria of teachers who will be serving in the upcoming elections. The Commission of Elections, Cumlic, has approved the Department of Education, DFED, request of an increasing the honoraria of teachers who will serve as electoral board, EV, and poll workers in the upcoming 2022 national and local elections. This is the result of the Secretary Leonor Magdolis Briones reaching out to Cumlic last February 2021, through a formal letter. In the said letter the secretary explained the department's proposal to increase the honoraria of teaching and non-teaching personnel who will serve during the election due to the public health situation. The secretary said, We want to express our gratitude to the Cumlic for approving our request for higher compensation for our teachers that will render their services in the next year's election. Given the current health situation, it is rightful for them to receive additional allowance. Cumlic Chairman Sheriff Abbas respond through a letter dated April 29, through Executive Director Bartolome J. Sino Cruz, Jr., stating that the Commission fully support the adjusted honoraria up to a 3,000 pesos increase. The department prescribed in the proposal the following honoraria rates based on the consumer price index and inflation rate as of January 2021, 9,000 pesos for chairpersons, 8,000 pesos for EB members, 7,000 pesos for deep ed supervisor official, DESO, and 5,000 pesos for support staff. Cumlic will also include the provision of transportation allowance, food and water allowance, and clean up and repair slash maintenance expenses as part of its budget proposal for the 2022 elections. Also, part of the budget proposal is the Deep Ed's request for health insurance coverage for those who will be infected with the virus. The Commission and the Department will also study other benefits such as on-site swab testing, shifting, and working hours of public school teachers in the EB, tax exemption, and any absence slash transfer slash leave of Deep Ed employees due to election-related incidents. The Department has also proposed the creation of Cumlic Deep Ed monitoring and coordination teams as part of the 2022 DEP Ed Election Task Force to ensure that teachers will be technically and legally equipped for the upcoming elections. The team will be composed of selected officials and personnel from the different levels of deep ed governance. According to the Commission, the honoraria for members of the monitoring and coordination teams will also be put forward in the budget. With deep ed and the teachers' vital participation in the 2022 national and local elections, we will continue our dialogue with Cumlic to ensure the health and welfare of our teachers and personnel who will be sitting in the polling, Briones said. As early as February this year Cumlic Commissioner Marlon Caspcho and Deep Ed Undersecretary for Administration Alan Del Pascua discussed the said matter before coming up with the decision. The rate increase was calculated by the Deep Ed Bureau of Human Resources and Organizational Development, BITROD. However, Undersecretary Pascua said that the proposed increase will still need the approval of Congress when they deliberate the annual budget. Thank you so much for watching.